If we have a straight line whose equation is in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, then we can use a simple formula, negative a over b, to find our slope, m. This first equation is already in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. Our a is the two. Our b is the three. So negative a over b becomes negative two over three. This line has a slope of negative two thirds. The second line is already in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. The a is four, the b is negative seven. So negative, negative a over b becomes negative four over negative seven. The two negative signs cancel and our slope is four sevenths. In the third equation, there is no c, but I can rewrite the equation if I wish. Negative x minus two y plus zero equals zero. It's in the form, the a is negative one, the b is negative two, so I have negative of negative one over negative two. In this case, you have to be careful of all these signs. But when you cancel two of the signs, either the two on the top or one on top and one on the bottom, you get a slope of negative one half. This equation is not in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero. So I'm going to use algebra to move it into that form. The x term is already to the left of the equal sign, so I'm keeping it where it is, 5x. The 3y, when it moves to the other side, becomes minus 3y. The 1 half becomes minus 1 half equals 0. Don't forget to write your equals 0. Equations have to have equal signs. My a is 5 and my b is negative 3, so I end up with negative 5 over negative 3. The two negative signs cancel and my slope is 5 thirds. Here we have an equation that doesn't have an x, but we can still do this trick. We have to realize if there's no x, we're allowed to write 0x. The 4y moving to the other side, though, becomes negative 4y. And 2y minus 4y is negative 2y. The negative 3 when moved to the other side becomes plus 3. Now I'm in the equation form ax plus by plus c equals zero. Negative a over b becomes negative zero over negative two, and this simplifies to a zero slope. In the last equation, we have no y. Again, we can use algebra. We can move the x from the right side of the equal sign to the left where it becomes negative. Three x minus x is two x. So we have two x plus seven equals zero. This can be rewritten if we wish, 2x plus 0y plus 7 equals 0. And when we do our negative a over b formula, we end up with negative 2 over 0. But of course, we cannot divide by 0, so this is an undefined slope. This is what will always happen when you have an equation with no y's in it. Therefore, the ax plus by plus c equals 0 form for the equation with the slope formula negative a over b always works regardless of what type of straight line equation you are given. It's a very powerful way of finding your slope.